So the new M4 Mac Mini just dropped. And if you're planning to get one, the next thing you would require is the perfect display to match the processing power of the M4 chip. Whether your team all Apple everything, or just want that M4 horsepower paired with your preferred brand's monitor. Either way, we're breaking down the seven best monitors that'll do this mini machine justice. To find your perfect match, let's get started. Let's start with one of those budget options for your Mac Mini. The ASUS ProArt brings a pro-level experience without the heavy price tag. This budget-friendly 4K monitor delivers 100% sRGB coverage and offers crisp visuals and true-to-life colors that are ideal for creators. Compared to the PA278CV, it packs 12 preset modes. Design-wise, it's got those sleek, thin bezels, a sturdy metallic finish stand, and even a clip in the back for tidy cable management. The power and OSD buttons are on the bottom, where there's also a built-in ruler, perfect for photo editors and designers. And with its anti-reflective matte coating, colors pop with 100% sRGB, 99% Adobe RGB, and 99% DCI-P3 coverage, plus wide 178-degree viewing angles. On the connectivity side, you've got USB-C with power delivery, two HDMI V2, a display port, and four USB 3.1 Type-A ports. The USB-C port delivers up to 65 watts, which is a lifesaver if you're using both a Mac Mini and a MacBook Pro. All right, we just saw some cool gadgets that are now quite popular, but that wasn't always the case. A lot of marketing had to be done for them to garner such a fan base. So if you are a business owner and want to increase your sales and drive more traffic to your sites, you should check out today's sponsor, TikTok for Business. It is a global platform designed to help brands like yours become creative storytellers and meaningfully engage with millions of TikTok users. Whether you're looking to attract customers, drive sales, or boost conversions, TikTok's unique ad solutions can get you there. From small businesses to large agencies, TikTok for Business has the tools to help you grow. With TikTok for Business, you can launch your first campaign in just three easy steps. First, answer a few questions, and TikTok will create a personalized marketing plan just for you. Then, craft your content using an easy-to-use template or upload existing creative. Finally, run your campaign and watch your business reach new heights with the most engaged audience online. So why are you waiting? Find the link in the description box and launch your first TikTok campaign today. Next up, for a mid-range alternative that brings some great features, check out the Acer Nitro X3 275K. It's a 27-inch screen, so the same size as Apple's monitor, and it often goes on sale too. Now, while it has a slightly lower 4K resolution than Apple's, the text still appears sharp and readable, even though the pixel density is a bit under macOS's recommended 220 PPI. But here's where it shines. The Acer supports HDR and uses mini-LED backlighting which really ups the contrast with dark blacks and vivid highlights. Whether you're editing in a dark studio or a bright office, it's a good option. True, it doesn't have Thunderbolt like Dell's or Apple's higher-end models, but it does include a USB-C port with display port alt mode that lets you hook up your Mac Mini for video and data transfer over a single cable. And with a couple of USB-A ports, you can connect other devices straight to the monitor, as well as freeing up space on your Mac Mini. If the Acer Nitro seems a bit over your budget or offers more than you really need, then a justified mid-range choice to consider is the Dell U2723QE. This one's also a 4K, 27-inch monitor, but it comes with some differences. For instance, it doesn't have mini-LED backlighting, and the picture quality isn't quite as sharp, but that's part of what makes it more affordable. On the upside, it features a larger USB hub that's perfect for multitasking you get five USB-A ports and three USB-C ports. With one of those USB-Cs supporting DisplayPort Alt mode, so you can plug in your Mac Mini directly. Another USB-C port connects to the KVM switch, which makes it simple to toggle between sources, like your Mac Mini and MacBook Pro, while using the same keyboard and mouse. Plus, it supports daisy chaining, so adding a second display is very simple, assuming your Mac Mini can handle it. You'd expect an Apple product like the Apple Studio Display to pair seamlessly with the Mac Mini, and it doesn't disappoint. The highlight here is that stunning 5K display packed into a 27-inch screen, 
which gives you 218 pixels per inch. For standard dynamic range, this display really shines with a brightness, maxing out at 600 nights. Now, it's worth noting that there's no HDR, no local dimming, and none of the fancy features you'll find on Apple's Pro Display XDR for added dynamic range. On the upside, the connectivity is exactly what Mac users need, including Mac Mini owners. With three USB-C ports, it doubles as a handy hub for peripherals, and the webcam integrates right into Mac's OS, supporting center stage for auto framing. Very Apple. The speakers? Easily miles better than any other monitor out there. But of course, the price is the catch. Justifying the price might be hard unless you're all in on the Apple ecosystem and okay without HDR. But if that's you, it's still a gorgeous display for the Mac Mini. So, the 27-inch Apple Studio display is too small for you? You should definitely consider the Dell U4025 QW, a 40-inch ultra-wide that opens up your workspace with a 21 to 9 aspect ratio. This is a great choice for creatives, especially video editors. You can expand your timeline and see everything at once. While the pixel density isn't as high as Apple's display, the clarity for text and graphics is still top-notch. And with Thunderbolt 4 support on the USB-C port, it can handle more bandwidth, which pairs perfectly with newer Macs that support it. It also brings some serious color accuracy in SDR, so you get a vivid picture with reliable color straight out of the box. Although it has HDR support, the contrast and dimming features aren't great, so it's not the best option for darkroom settings. But if you're in a bright room, its brightness level fights off glare fairly well, even if reflections can sometimes be an issue. All right, meet the Apple Pro Display XDR, the monitor you probably don't need but will definitely want to own. They crafted this thing out of low carbon aluminum, so it has that Apple next gen look. This is a big monitor too, a full 32 inches, and it kind of dwarfs the Mac Mini. Perfect for a studio or a tricked out home office. Onto the specs, we're talking 6K resolution. That gives you a massive digital workspace for all your projects, apps, tabs, anything you name it. And if brightness is your thing, the Pro Display hits a 1-600 night peak with color coverage that's dialed in right out of the box. You're looking at 106.7% of the sRGB and 75.6% of the DCI-P3 color gamut. Now, the back of the display is pretty minimal, with a Thunderbolt 3 port, 3 USB-C ports, and power. And yeah, the stand doesn't come included. That's an extra purchase, and it's not cheap. So, if you're all in for a premium display, the Pro Display XDR is a knockout. Lastly, for anyone on the lookout for the perfect monitor to pair with a Mac Mini, the BenQ PD2725U stands right there. It offers 4K UHD clarity and great colors with 100% sRGB accuracy. One of its most unique features is the dual view mode. It lets users split the screen and display different content on each half. This feature is especially handy for creatives, like designers or video editors, who need to check their work across various color spaces or layouts. On the connectivity front, this monitor doesn't disappoint, with HDMI, DisplayPort, and USB-C options for versatile device compatibility. There's even a built-in KVM switch, which makes it easy to switch between the Mac Mini and other devices while using the same keyboard and mouse. Plus, the stand is fully adjustable for height, tilt, and pivot, so users can find the perfect angle. With its sleek, thin bezel design, it's as stylish as it is functional. So that's the seven best monitors for your upcoming M4 Mac Mini that you can buy. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe to get more videos like this.